here it is. Our urban farm pick for September, an aquaponics system. Let's take a look inside. We put this aquaponics system in a greenhouse and it's a little noisy in here because the fan kicked on. The thermostat is set for 85 degrees, so it's going to kick on every time it's 85 degrees in here. So this fan is actually an attic fan, and it's able to suck out about 2,500 square feet of attic space. And this unit in here is only an 8 by 12, so it is really, it's doing a great job of taking out the really hot air. And it even puts a little bit of movement. Um, but I'm going to add a fan anyway, and then we can get some real movement going in here. It's important to have movement for the plants. They need wind. Absolutely. They need exercise, just like we do. The power comes from some solar panels that are on the top of here. Those solar panels connect to some batteries in this little cabinet right here. And this makes this aquaponic system completely and totally off the grid and sustainable. The only energy we're using is from this beautiful sun and that energy is going to be used to pump the water from the aquaponics system. You can see the water is not in the tank yet. We're not quite there but I wanted to show you the system. We're almost there. We're going to finish up tomorrow. The water will come from the fish tank go up into the clarifier here, the settlement tank. We'll pump through this pipe right here, through a spreader at the end that has holes, and it will fill the entire grow bed. This is a four by eight grow bed. This grow bed will be flooded consistently twice a day, so all the nutrients can go to the roots. And in this grow bed, you can plant things a lot closer together because we don't have any struggles for nutrients. This particular system is a design by Coley Davis of PortableFarms.com and he has the basic plans. You can see that this system is got some trim on it and it's we've made it really pretty here. This is you don't have to do this. We just did this because it's right outside the kitchen and we have to see it all the time. We wanted it to be a beautiful piece of furniture so we put a little bit more into it. This is actually the spout that comes out of the settlement tank. There's going to be some fish sediment in here and this can be poured into the garden and it's an excellent fertilizer. So even though we're fertilizing the plant beds here, we're also going to have an extra um, concentrated form of fish fertilizer coming out of here and I've added this uh, spout to make it um, very easy to use and make it easy for me to take that sediment out. This sediment tank needs to be changed or rinsed out every two weeks. So this is going to keep the water really clean. As clean as you can get for aquaponics when you're doing this kind of fish farming. I want to talk about this greenhouse. This greenhouse actually is designed um, in Israel and when I first put it up, I wasn't so sure, but once it was all put together, I was actually very impressed with it. It was, it took a while to put together, but um, I had some great guys working on it for me. So we now have our system is completed. We're just going to be filling this up with water tomorrow and we are going to start planting. We're actually going to cycle this unit. That means we're going to be putting water in and running it through the plant beds so the bacteria can grow on top of the rocks and filter the water for the fish. You know, think about a fish tank and you have that gravel that's in the uh, filtration system. That's what this is. It's like a giant filtration system for the fish in this fish tank. We're gonna have about 50 fish coming. They're coming from Florida and they are a, it's a hybrid fish. They do not have any kind of genetic um, modification going on. They're just like a crossbreed. I mean, it's like a, a mutt of a fish, if you will. You know how you have a dog that's a mutt? It's the same thing. They're not genetically modified, they're natural fish, but they're just two different types bred together and for some reason this makes an, a very high male population so we'll be growing all male tilapia in the end of this system here. I'm also going to be installing a fan because when it comes time to pollinate we don't have bugs coming in so we need to have some form of pollination and that can be done actually by hand. You can paint the pollen onto the flowers 
or you can use a fan. We're going to be doing both, so I'm going to install a fan. I'll we'll probably put it on top of the sediment tank. I've also had some electrical boxes installed, so I've got two of these in here if I want to play music or if I want to add, a, of course I'm going to use this for the fan, any kind of electricity that I need. I've got two outlets, one here and another one over here, and this is all run from the solar powered as well. All this energy is coming off of the roof. Anything that goes on in this system right here is completely sustainable and solar powered. 